Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. Today, I'm here with Game 5, the one you've been waiting for, between the 1987 Giants and the 1977 Dodgers. The series is, it's a best of five series, and it's all tied up at two. This is Game 5, the Game 5 deciding game, which we'll see which uh, which of these two teams advances to the next round. And on the mound today for the um, the home team is the Dodgers. We're back in L.A. And on the mound today is game one starter Don Sutton. As you will recall, I believe he lost game one. Or at least the Dodgers lost game one with him pitching, I think. I don't remember, but then again, you could go back and check it out, right? You could go back and watch the game one video, because it's still up. So anyway, that having been said, Robbie Thompson is the first batter for the San Francisco Giants. And we do have a lineup change to report again for the Giants. And that is that um, the third baseman for today's game will um, be Chris Spire. We're going; they're going back to Chris Spire because uh, they um, well they really need to win this game, and he is scalding hot in the series. So that's what they're going to do. So Chris Beyer is at third for the Giants. Last game it was Matt Williams, but it's back to being Spire. And he had played the first three games um, of the series for the Giants at third base. So here is Rob Thompson to face Don Sutton. And he gets a 2-6, which is a strikeout. Don Sutton with the K. That brings up Jose Uribe, and he gets a 4-10, which is a ground ball to the third baseman. The third baseman for the Dodgers is Ron Sand. He's a 2, and that is going to be a 9. He is out, 2 away. And that brings up Will Clark. Will the Thrill Clark, and he gets a 4-7, which is a ground ball to second. The second baseman is Davey Lopes, and he is a three at second. That is an 18. Might be a roll again, but let's check it out. It is. And that's a five, and that's probably an out, and it is. So, Will the Thrill is out, and the Giants get no runs in the first. We go to the bottom of the first inning. And uh, pitching for San Francisco is their game one starter, Rick Russell. And Bill Russell will bat against Russell. There's a mouthful. 6-6 six, six is a pop out to first base, one away. Davey Lopes is up. He gets a 1-5, which is a single one to six. And that is a single. And as you know about Davey Lopes, he can steal. And he has in this series. And he's going to there, too. He's a double A. Going to second. He gets a six. There is no catcher that throws him out on that. So he is safely in at second. And uh, with only one down and Dusty Baker up. And he gets a 1-4, which is a ground ball. Pitcher B. Two away. And that brings up. The main man, Reggie, Sm Reggie Smith, and he gets a 2-9, which is a walk. Reggie Smith is aboard. That's the uh, first walk issued by Russell today. And Ron Say is up. He gets a 6-5, which is a ground ball second base. So Ron Say is out, and so are the Dodgers in the first inning. We go to the top of the second. Top of the second inning. Kevin Mitchell up. He gets a 4-2. Which is a fly ball to left field. One away. 
Candy Maldonado gets a 5-6, which is a strikeout, two away. And Sutton hasn't allowed anybody on base yet. Jeffrey Leonard's up, and he gets a 1-10, which is a pop-out to shortstop, and that is still the case as we go to the bottom of the second. In a scoreless game between the 87 Giants and the 77 Dodgers, Steve Garvey is up. He gets a 4-4 which is a line out to the shortstop, one away. Rick Monday Monday is up and he gets a ground ball to the second baseman, he's out. And that brings up Lee Lacey, he gets a 4-8, which is a single one to 16. And that is going to be actually not, it is, let's see, Four, eight. That is a uh, line out to the second baseman for Lacey. So we go to the top of the third, still scoreless. And Chili Davis is up for San Francisco. He gets a 5 2, which is a ground ball to the pitcher. One away. Sutton throws him out. Chris Spire, the scalding hot. Chris Spire hits a home run 1 to 9. And that's a double. He stays scalding hot to get the first hit. They knew what they were doing when they decided that they were going to put Spire back in the lineup. And you can always, uh, you know, bring Williams in for defense later. But Bob Brenly's up. He gets a 6-7, which is a line out to second base, two away. And Rob Thompson is up. He gets a 1-8. And that's a single. Now, the question is, do you send Spire? And, you know, with as stingy as uh, Sutton has been, in general, you would say you would want to do that. But he's a 1-10 to running, so they're not going to. And they're going to let Uribe try to knock in a run. 6-8. And that's a double 1-15. to It's going to work. It's going to be a single, but it still knocks in a run. So Uribe gets a hit and an RBI, and uh, that's the first run of the game. And Sutton has allowed it, and Will Clark is up. Will the Thrill, 1-5 is a strikeout. So he lets the Giants down a little bit in a situation where they really could have scored, another, you know, at least another run, but they didn't, and it is one nothing San Francisco as we go to the bottom of the third. With Steve Yeager up, and he gets a 2-12, which is a fly ball to center, one away. And Steve Yeager himself has had a very good se series. He came into the last game hitting uh, 500, and he is 2 for 5 since then. Bill Russell gets a 2-6, which is a ground ball to third. That's two away. And Davy Lopes is up, and he gets a 2-11, which is a pop-out to short. We go to the top of the fourth. Kevin Mitchell's up. He gets a 4-8, which is a walk. So Kevin Mitchell's aboard. Sutton allowing his third base runner. Candy Maldonado gets a 4-11. And that is a ground ball to the first baseman. That is Garvey, who I believe is a 1. He is. And that's an 18, which is a roll again. And that is a 5, which is probably going to be a double play. And it is. But that's 2, uh, two down. And Jeffrey Leonard's up, and he gets a 6-10, which is a fly ball to the left fielder. So San Francisco gets no runs there, and we have a very tight, low-scoring pitcher's duel right here in Game 5, the deciding game. Dusty Baker is up. He gets a 1-7, which is a fly ball to left. One away. Reggie Smith gets a 4-6, which is a double 1-3 or a single.
And that is going to be a double for Reggie Smith. Didn't I say he was the main man? So anyway, that's the second hit allowed by Russell. Ron Say comes up. He gets a 5-4, which is a home run 1-3 to three or a fly ball. And that is going to be a fly ball to left, two away. So Ron Say had a chance to put him ahead, but it was a deep fly to the wall. And Steve Garvey's up, and he gets a 1-3, which is a line out to short. And we go to the top of the fifth, a very low scoring, one nothing game with the Giants ahead. In the contest, Chili Davis is up. He gets a 6-7, which is a ground ball to the shortstop. Or no, wait a minute. Low line out to second base. So Chili Davis is out. I was looking at the wrong guy. Chris Spire is up. He gets a 6-10, which is a fly ball to left, two away. And Bob Brenly's up, and he gets a 3-10, which is a single. So Bob Brenly with a two-out hit. He's three for ten uh, in the last two games. And came into uh, the previous game at four for ten. So he's also having a very good series. Robbie Thompson with two down. He gets a 1-7, which is a ground ball to the third baseman, and he's out. No runs for San Francisco in the fifth. We go to the bottom of the fifth. Rick Monday, Monday. He gets a walk, so Monday is a board. But Russell has been pitching great, so you know they're not going to really want to bring him out. Lee Lacey gets a 3-11, which is a line out to third, one away. Steve Yeager gets a 1-6, which is a ground ball double play to the shortstop. So L.A. squanders any kind of opportunity they might have had right there, and we go to the top of the sixth. In a one nothing Giants lead game, and Uribe up at the plate and singling. So Uribe, who got the key RBI that put the Giants ahead, also gets another hit right here. Fourth hit allowed by Sutton. Clark up. He gets a 4-10. Ground ball to the third baseman. That's Say. And Say is a two at third. That is a 16, probably going to be a double play, and it is. So Will Clark hits into a double play. There's two down. And Kevin Mitchell up, and he gets a 1-8, which is a home run. Kevin Mitchell puts the Giants ahead 2-0. Sutton, you got to feel sorry for him. I mean, he, he's pitching really well, but Maldonado is up. He gets a 4-11. That's a ground ball to the first baseman. That is Garvey. He's one. And that's going to be maybe an error. And no, it isn't. I guess they changed it now. So it used to be 7, 8, and 9 were errors for a one, but no, not anymore. So Maldonado is out. But the Giants do strike for another run, and they have a 2-0 lead going into the bottom of the sixth. And Bill Russell's up at the plate. He gets a 5-3. That is a ground ball to the pitcher. And that's Russell, who is considered to be a 2, and throws the runner out. Russell. Russell thrown out by Russell and Dave Lopes. Davey Lopes is up. He gets a 6-5, which is a ground ball second base. C. And he's out. And Dusty Baker's up. He gets a 5-6, which is a pop out to third base. Top of the seventh. We're going top seven here. And Jeffrey Leonard up. He gets a 3-11, which is a ground ball to the second baseman, one away. 
Chili Davis gets a 2-7, which is a home run 1-5 to five or a fly ball. And that is going to be a home run for Chili Davis. And that is just, the, I mean, the Giants are just really now pulling away. They are pulling away in the biggest way. That's the second home run allowed by Sutton and the third earned run. Chris Spire up. He gets a 6-8, which is a double 1-15. to 15. He continues being torrid, but he gets a single out of it. Two for three this game with a double. Bob Brenly up. He gets a 5-8, which is a triple 1-3 to three or a single double asterisk. And that's going to be a single double asterisk. So Sutton is in all kinds of trouble now. Um... And they are going to get somebody up in the bullpen. And that somebody is going to be, will get up in the bullpen for the Dodgers. And Rob Thompson is up at the plate. And that's a 5-6. And that's going to be a strikeout, two down. And Jose Uribe comes up. He gets a 6-4, which is a fly ball to center. Uribe out. And another run comes across for the Giants. They had a chance to get more, but they blew that. But it's still 3-0. And Russell not showing any signs of giving L.A. anything. Reggie Smith is up. He gets a 3-12, which is a fly ball. One away. Ron Say is up. He gets a 2-4, which is a walk. So the Penguin gets a board. Russell with his third walk of the game. Steve Garvey gets a 4-5, which is a pop-out to second, two away. And Rick Monday with a 4-6, which is a double 1-3 or a single of Alastris. That's going to be a single. So that puts L.A. runners at first and third. With Lee Lacey up. And with Lee Lacey up at the plate, they are going to pinch hit. Because I think they have a great pinch hitter. L.A. does. They do. Manny Moda. And Manny Moda is also going to become the DH. Manny Moda this uh, in 1977 only had 38 at bats, but he hit 395. And he steps in. They need him right now to get a hit. And that's a 6-9, which is really a fly ball to center. So Manny Moda gets a fly out in a key situation and strands two runners for LA. They get nothing in the seventh. And we go to the top of the eighth. And Elias Sosa will come on for L.A. And Don Sutton, I mean, again, Don Sutton really did not pitch that poorly. He pitched seven innings. He allowed six hits and walked one and allowed three earned runs, two of those on homers. So... It isn't like he was pitching that poorly, but Sosa's got to hold it right here because if they're going to have any chance, they can't allow any more runs. And Will Clark comes up, he gets a 5-8, which is a strikeout. Kevin Mitchell comes up, he gets a 4-9, which is a strikeout, two away. And Sosa is exactly doing his job. Candy Maldonado comes up. He gets a 4-7, which is a triple 1-4. to four. And that is a triple. So Maldonado rips one down the line, and it runs across the baseboards a little bit. And gives him a triple. A runner 90 feet away now for the Giants with two down and Leonard up. And he gets a 6-7, which is a pop-out to second. 
No runs come in for the Giants. We go to the bottom of the eight. Russell still going strong, so they're not going to take in, they're not going to take him out for sure. And Jaeger up three nine is a strikeout, one away. He has been pitching magnificently. Bill Russell comes up, he gets a five eight, which is a strikeout. And that year, uh, Russell did pitch 227 innings, so it's not like he can't do this. 5-5 five, five is a triple one or a single, and that will be a single for Davey Lopes. I was about to put him on third for the triple, but no. Third hit allowed by Russell to go with three walks, only six men allowed on, and Dusty Baker up, and he gets a 6-5, which is the ground ball C. So L.A. is down to their last shot that they will have in the bottom of the ninth. But right now we have the top of the ninth where the Giants get a chance to try to extend their 3-0 lead. Chili Davis gets a 1-3, which is a walk. Chili Davis walking. Chris Spire up. He gets a 2-5, which is a single one to 16. Chris Spire, you cannot contain that guy even. He gets a single. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah. Two runners on, no outs, and Bob Brenly up. And he gets a 3-9, which is a single. And that loads the bases. At the very least, um, we will see if we can send the uh, runner, but that depends on who it is. It's Chili Davis, though. He's a 1-15. to They're going to try it. And that's a 15 right on the nose. That gives me a problem. Okay, let's see. Um, so that would be the right fielder's arm. And the right fielder is Reggie Smith, and you know he's going to have a good arm. Negative 3, he gets gunned out. That's the first out. Chili Davis gunned at the plate. Robbie Thompson up. He gets a 6-8, which is a line out to third, one away, or two away. And the Giants may have run themselves right out of an inning. Uribe comes up. He gets a 4-6. That's a home run one or a fly ball. See? Yeah, that is a fly ball to the right fielder for Uribe. Would have knocked a run in, though, had there only been one out at that time. But there was two because they tried to extend Chili Davis. Probably a good gamble, though, up three runs. Here we go to the bottom of the ninth. With the Giants ahead, 3 nothing, and Reggie Smith up against Russell. And that's a 5-5, five -five, which is a triple one or a single. And that's going to be a single. Reggie Smith with the hit, and he's on. One runner on, no outs. Ron Say up. He gets a 5-7. That's a single. So now L.A. was saving it all for right now. And there is going to be activity in the Giants' bullpen. And that activity will consist of getting um, Scott Geralt up in the bullpen. And that brings up Steve Garvey. Steve Garvey gets a 6'10", which is a fly ball to center one away. Rick Monday up. He gets a 2-8, which is a ground ball B. So runners are at the corners, and Manny Mota's back up again. And he gets a 2-9, which is a fly ball on his card. <laughs> I mean, there's not many outs on that card, but that was a fly ball to center, and that is the last out for the Dodgers. And the Dodgers lose to the Giants by the score of... 3 nothing, 
and the 1987 Giants will advance to the next round. The 77, or 77 Dodgers will sit at home and watch. And that is it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.